Hello and welcome to www.collectinglouisvuitton.com and today we're reviewing an attic find. Now this is the equivalent of a barnyard find in classic cars. It involves a Louis Vuitton suitcase that was found in the attic. Now I'll just tell you the story because it's, it's quite interesting. Um, the lady who owns this suitcase wrote to me and said that after her grandfather passed away, which is rather sad, um, she was cleaning out the house and in the attic they discovered this old Louis Vuitton suitcase. And um, she took the suitcase into Louis Vuitton and all the staff were really excited to see it. Uh, it was actually locked and uh, they eventually got a, a key for it and uh, they opened the suitcase and it had her grandmother's wedding dress in it and it had some other clothes and um, she um, she writes that the the clothing in the suitcase was uh, very 1950s 1960s and she thinks the suitcase is from the 20s to the 40s and uh, she, she's uh, she's very kindly supplied these pictures that you can see on the screen here and she's asked me if I can shine any light on it and um, so let, let's have a look at the the age of the suitcase okay so this is an Alza suitcase and uh, we know it's an Alza because the Alza suitcase has the strap that goes around the suitcase and uh, you can see that at the top where the the lock and the clips hold in place so it's very definitely an Alza suitcase um, as far as the age of it goes, if you look at the, the LV pattern on it, it's the older uh, painted pattern because Louis Vuitton, um, they changed to the, the current system which is a printed pattern. So this is the, the older type. Um, as far as the age goes, it's, it's hard to tell the age because um, they made that that particular style for for considerable time. The the monogram pattern itself uh, came out after Damia, and it came out just before the 1900s. That's when the monogram canvas came out. And uh, so this particular piece here, um, I'd say, would probably be more 40s, 50s. That's that's that's, that's in my my opinion there. Um, you could always ask Louis Vuitton for an age estimate based on the the key because each Alza hard case suitcase has a unique key so they, they'd be able to to shine on there uh, more exactly but I, I'd say it's probably a 30s 40s 50s sort of piece there if you look at the lock the, the central locking mechanism it's actually a bit older than the the current one so it's it's certainly all correct there and uh, so this is an Alza and it, it seems if you look inside the suitcase it, as well it has the the holder for the the inner tray so I think this piece is actually missing the inner tray because all the pictures that this person has sent me don't actually have the the inner tray in it um, unfortunately there seems to be a bit of water damage inside there and uh, if you have a look on the outside of the case it does have quite a few scuff scruff marks on it and uh, it's missing the the handle and it's also it's also missing the um, uh, sorry it's, it's also got someone's uh, it looks like they just used some house paint to put some initials on the suitcase there so look what I'd probably do is to replace the handle itself um, on a, um, I had a Louis Vuitton President briefcase, similar type of handle. It's probably about a hundred to two hundred dollars, so I'd certainly get Louis Vuitton to do that. As far as the case goes itself, I'd probably freshen it up by giving it a, a wash with some soapy water. And what I would do is I wouldn't do the whole thing in one hit. I'd do one section at a time. That way, there you're not going to. Uh, put too much watery stuff on it. After you have washed it with some soapy solution, give it a good, good wipe down with a uh, just just plain damp cloth to to get rid of any soapy residue. To clean the brass work up itself, there you could use some brasso or some brass cleaner. Just do it very very gently and just take your time because you don't want to get brass solution all over the the rest of the the suitcase there. Um, as far as the the uh, the paint 
the initials that someone's painted on it looks like it wasn't done professionally so I dare say it can be removed you might be best to talk to a, a professional restorer to get their opinion on that probably you could attempt to to smudge a little bit off with some some paint thinners but unless you know what you're doing you could do more damage than good so I'd probably get a professional restorer to do that as far as the water damage itself there it doesn't seem to be terminal but it certainly does look like you have had uh, some water damage so it really does depend on how much of the wood is how damaged it is underneath that surface there it might just be that it needs to be glued back in place again you're probably best to go to a, a trunk restorer and just get them to to clean that up and, and, and finish it off for you there it's not a bad suitcase um, but it, it, it's uh, it is in it is in I'd say poor condition okay the big question comes what's it worth well look I, I'd uh, personally I'd love to have a, a suitcase that belonged to my grandparents particularly a Louis Vuitton suitcase at that uh, but well, what is it worth well it's not worth a, a huge amount of money it's probably I have seen 1930s 1940s 1950s suitcases if it was in mint condition they, they can be worth five to ten thousand dollars in good condition itself there I've seen them through antique stores uh, they, they are some, worth somewhere between three to four and a half thousand that's what I've seen them for sale at um, this piece here what's it worth well in the condition uh, that it's in now I'd probably say it's worth six hundred to seven hundred dollars because the fact that it's it's missing the handle it's got um, major scruff damage on it and it's also got some 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 unprofessionally put initials on it and it's also had a bit of water damage if it if it was in good condition and and you could certainly get it restored it'd probably be worth about fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars so um, the question is is it worth doing well the truth is probably to get the the handle and to get it professionally restored you're probably looking at about five hundred to a thousand dollars so it certainly um, isn't going to make it hugely valuable but it's it's a, it's a nice comforting feeling to know that you've restored this old piece to, to its um, to its former glory so so it's certainly worth doing but uh, it's it, it's not worth a fortune but it's it, it's a very nice trunk and a fantastic heirloom to have for your children to pass on to I hope you've enjoyed this review and please don't forget to come to my free Louis Vuitton information website www.collectinglouisvuitton.com and uh, please also feel free to leave some comments as well. Thanks very much.